So what we're gonna do is go up here to our toolbar, grab the pen tool, then we're just gonna make several points. And I'll go ahead and click and drag a bit so that you know we get some bezier going on, some nice roundedness, and then I'll close it off. And so I did that all while on the path tool. So if you drop the path tool down, you go to masks, actually you go to text, path options, change this path to mask one, now our text is on the path that we just created. The best part of this is you can animate it around your path. So first margin, we'll go ahead and create a keyframe there. And then at five, we'll create a keyframe as well. And we'll just drag this up until we get back to our starting point. So there we go. Now we've animated this around our path. So this path can really be anything. If you have a picture of the Eiffel Tower in the background and wanna you know, path out the Eiffel Tower and then put your text around that, you can do that. You can do whatever you want with this path tool and that's one of the great powers of After Effects is that there are many different ways to do something and this is, I, I'm pretty excited that I figured out how to do this. I hadn't really seen it before. I, I thought about it, but I uh, hadn't actually figured out how to do it yet. There are a few different things that you can do with the different path options. There are a few things that you can do uh, with this. And so right here we see that we're already on a curve. If you look at perpendicular to path, it is on right now. So that means that it's perpendicular to whatever part of the path it's currently on. If I turn this off, it's gonna be perpendicular to the bottom of the composition. And so now, we'll go ahead and you know stay level with that bottom. Go ahead and turn that back on. And you can reverse the path too. And so now, instead of being on the inside down there, it's gonna be on the outside down there. I'll turn that back on, and now it's on the inside again. You can also force the alignment, and that's gonna spread it out uh, evenly across the entire path. Probably not gonna wanna do that unless you have words on there. So that is where we will end. So you gotta look now at what you can do with some different text effects and kind of really ramp up what you've done with your text and really start to make your, your video pop. If you would still like to learn different ways to do this, I can you know go a little further and try to create some other text tutorials, start going into some, some masking and things like that. If that is something you're interested in, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get on that as soon as possible. Until next time, I'm John Hartley. Thanks for watching.